This is the next installment in the Rollstone Bank and Trust construction project, building a new bank downtown Lemonster. It is August 28th, 2011, and we have... This is a retake because somebody had to blast their stereo directly beside us. And it's being done by RP Maziello Contractors. The for some reason, the uh, image stabilization is not doing its job. They cover the big sign, though, with their safety rules. And we got construction progress here. It might not look like much, but they've completely leveled off everything. And they have actually dug up everything over there and behind the uh, construction equipment over there. And I'm not sure what those are. No idea, so I'm gonna talk over the music again because we got people that don't grasp the concept of noise pollution or the state, or should I say, or the city law in which you're not supposed to blast your music. And as we see here, they're laying out the corners of the building. That's one noticeable corner, which is next door to the Woodblock Building and the brand new Rhyme and Time restaurant. Time is in the spice. And we got a few more right there. And one over there. So I'm not sure where the definite end of the building is on this side. And that's what we've got right now. This is a September 12th update, 2012. And here now they finally got their construction sign up. And since they have to really haul to get this up within two months, they have started and starting with the new foundation hole as we can see here outside of this little ramp in which the construction vehicles get in and out and this corner over here which they haven't done yet within one week's time they pretty much dug up the foundation and I guess that's a drain right there. So, and over there we got a protection shield, which we will look at as we go around. And they got some more of that protective shield in fragments laying down here. So now we know what this stuff was in the last segment. And we'll just take a quick walk around as such. There is a slight copyrighted music sound playing. Oh no, it's actually... It's actually a vent. And... That's the perimeter of the building. But... Found something else that was kind of interesting is... Right here. Completely separate. We've got another hole and I gotta talk loud. So I don't know if this is, well actually this might be some sort of drainage system that they had to dig this out so they could connect to the regular system. So that's this update. September 19th, 2012. Look what we got here, a concrete truck. Here's the concrete truck. And they're getting ready to pour a foundation. There's the foundation hall right there. And I gotta talk to somebody who thinks that blasting a radio is a cool thing to do. So they're they're already starting to get ready to pour forms. It's gonna be a partial basement. And what we'll do is we're going to Go around and see what we can see. Start
still getting the excess water out and right there it's hard to see but they've already poured some of the footings and as you can see they dug a hole for more I don't know if that's as far as it goes I think it might go further then again it might be the scale of things kind of throwing me off a little bit and we got more rebar structures over there or anything quick in that nature and we can't really see what that truck's doing all right that cement truck over there is now pouring cement into the hopper of this truck which then pumps it up over here to where we can't really see them pumping it yet in fact, there is some slight movement as you can see, maybe. And that truck that we saw actually finished. They were cleaning it up. There they are, pouring it in, getting the footings ready for this new building. They got a very short period of time to get it all done. It's only about two months before the first snowfall, and that's when they want the entire shell as a whole completed. Good luck! Although you guys aren't government work, so I won't say you'll need it. October 17th, 2012. It's been a couple of weeks, and we've got quite a bit of progress. Most of the foundation has been poured. As you can see here, that's the two-story section right there. And what you don't see right here is a single-story section. And over here, what you can see is a freshly poured pad for this non-basement portion, because it's supposed to be split. Pardon my, uh, oops. That is a one-story foundation although it's kind of close to two in terms of height and none because this is going to be back filled in and that's where the first floor is going to be and as we have just said it is freshly poured because we can plainly see the cement is very wet we'll zoom in just a little bit to kind of show it to you there you go you can even see the water standing on it so that's what we got right now. So here it is from this side. As you can see, they're gonna make the wall once this completely dries. So now we got a dimension in terms of how big the building will be. Yay far to yay far. And over there, what is a sort of a V-notch is where the corner of the building is gonna be. They don't really need support there because the two corners are supported and over here this little section where there isn't going to be a basement level that's what we've got for you yeah see it's deep enough it kind of almost looks like a two-story and that'll be it Halloween 2012 and this will be the last piece of video in this chapter of the Red, the Rollstone Bacon Trust. I was about to say Redstone. Mine's stuck in a game of Minecraft. And we got the foundation completely done and we got the land backfilled. So now it's up to where it's gonna be. And as you can see they filled in the section of the building in which there will not be a basement. And of course there's the section that is the basement and we got a wood fence to keep people from falling over and there you can see an anchor for some steel and we'll see some of that along the way this building is more square than the picture makes it out to be as we pass a construction sign I thought it was going to be rectangular apparently not and so we see more of the steelwork right there 
And now they're doing work at the bottom. As we can kind of see right there, we got the gravel down, some more steel plates there, and that over there is, a, I believe, would be the piston for the elevator. Seems to be about right. And that is all we've got for this episode. And we'll continue later on as they've also graded for the parking lot. And I find it interesting, there's a couple of big openings right there. Wonder what that's for. This is probably going to be considered the main uh, public entrance, although rear. And that is it for this episode. Until the next episode, which likely will involve steel, have a good one.